Oh, hello. It's happened again. What is this? What is this wizardry? I know. We just are we going past who here? Who? No, I'm asking. Are we going past who? Who? I, I asked. I, I, I asked you here if we're going past who? Who? Morning, everybody. It is Sunday. You know what that means. Welcome along to your chill out on Sundays here on Trains in World Free. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go to the trains. There yeah, you got it right first time. And we were high speed yesterday. Let's go English high speed today with the Southeastern high speed line. And with all these scenarios we've got to do, you know what I feel like doing this bottom one right here. A power issue means this Class V95 from Faversham to St Pancras International's run is cut short. Creepy. Spooky. So grab your ticket, get in line, shell them here as well to have some fun. We're going to go play with the javelins and it's time for, uh, yeah, it's time for some serious speed again. Just stopped. I'd yeah, go on, go on, carry on. Just let them know that um, I actually changed it to a schedule upload. Yeah, 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 abso absolutely. I would, um, I would be saying the uh, the same. I need to check mine, make sure mine is a. Uh, because I've got a feeling I'm going to be getting a message uh, during yeah. this. Uh, yeah, it's alright because close to the end of this video, my video goes out at five o'clock. It does, and I can't really do that and that at the same time. So I just. Scheduled it to a scheduled upload, and then it will automatically do it at five o'clock. Absolutely. What also automatically we should do? What we should we automatically do? The start of the video. I know, because it's Sunday. You know what that means? Absolutely. <clears throat> um, it's Sunday. We are here with the uh, with the javelin. Look at the, the glorious javelin we are. Uh... I hope that picked that up because my friend was just like starting to try up there while I was. Speaking. Absolutely. Is that uh, the message yeah. I've been waiting for? No, that's a, a Facebook message. I I knew that. I was I was testing Ooh. you. Yes, javelins. that's uh, javelins. No, that is not the chat. You are not the javelin we are looking for. <laughs> Hang on. What? I just noticed something. Then what's that? Do the, you know the reflection of the javelin? Yes. With the um, shadow. Yeah. It was all right. Next minute, it just changed. Oh, oh hello, Ooh, freight train. Freight train. It just changed like a click of a finger. That must be. Uh, that must be what uh, it's after. No, we're recording this um, after I've done the Gran Turismo race, after the Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, I am happy with um, about I would say ninety nine point nine percent of the race. There is a point zero one percent of the race I am absolutely fuming about. Two percent. Are you trying to out math me? Yeah. Got gone then. Two percent. Well, yeah, because you can't be ninety nine point nine percent happy with the race if that thing happens. But you can't be two percent not happy because if you add two percent to ninety nine point nine percent, it's one hundred and one percent. Are you trying to Steiner math me? Yes. I am fuming. Do not try and Steiner math me. Try and Steiner math me. See what happens. Exactly. <laughs> like, I'm Damn. just here with a cringy smile thinking, should I do it or should I not do it? I'm not going to do it because I can't be asked to think. No, everyone on the screen, everyone out there in uh, YouTube land is saying, do it. Put him in his place. Put him in the bin. Me? Yeah. You can't put me in the bin. No, I'm no, no. Everyone's saying, put me in the bin. Everyone is saying, put me in the bin. Yeah, I know where to go with that, but um... <laughs> go on, go there. We, we I need some uh, cheering up after uh... the bin would break. Oh, oh right now. I that... told you not to go there. <laughs> I, I told you I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I, I told you I did not want to go there. Yeah, the bin would break because I'd have the thirty-seven Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders in there with me, pal. So uh, ergo, suck on that one. Ha! No comeback, exactly. Yeah, no. I've been um... nowhere. You've been nowhere. Oh, that was trash. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. I refuse <laughs> to do any more bin jokes. I think we go to compact then. Oh, God almighty. Are we, try Are we just trying? We passed a 465, um, by the way. You're, you're trying to compact the jokes. 
You're trying to compact the jokes, yeah? Yeah. Well, been there, done that. <laughs> he wore the t-shirt that went in the bin. Yeah, exactly. He even wore the t-shirt that to, uh, went in the bin with it as well. So, the route to... Uh, I'll get on to that in a minute. The route today goes from uh, Faversham, and we're going to London St Pancras International. We finally got a scenario that does the whole of Southeastern High Speed. Finally! And guess what? What? I still have not been into Kent as much yet. I said not as much because we have been to Ashford International. And not only that, you need to uh, finish that sanctioned. That sanctioned? Sanctioned? Yes, yeah, sanctioned. I can't English. You need to finish that sentence with a dot, 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 dot. Until yet. July. Exactly. You need to finish it with a dot, 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 dot. Yet. Because I have a feeling we will be going into uh, Kent very soon. Yes. Sooner than people think. There is a hotel booked for something, but I'm not going to say what, why, who, how, when, when, if, but, maybe. It's something to do with the 37 Dice Cowboy Cheerleaders. Okay, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. That one has uh, that one has disappeared over well, it's my known head. As, uh, well, Ken's known as the, the back of garden, is it? Something like that. Oh god, here we go. Oh no. Oh god. So there's a load of space to bang them. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that came out shit. Oh boy. That really came out crap. D does anyone just want to give him the? Well, you tried awards there. I didn't try it. I <laughs> sucked. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, thinking I want to face palm this myself because I thought they was... were the ones that suck. <laughs> Azing. Well, yeah, I do suck. Something else. With oh, no. oh God! Here we go. You know that, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that uh, ambassadorship we're hoping for with uh, with trades in World Three that we were trying very hard for yesterday. It, it, yeah, they they just heard this and then went, "Bid." <laughs> well, gonna have to do a lot of sucking up now. Yeah, you gotta do a lot of sucking up now. You, you, you're gonna have to be as a <laughs> really, really sorry, Sir Dale. <laughs> Oh, you over there, bin in. Yeah, oh, uh, I forget which one uh, that station is. Uh, it's the station between uh, Faversham and Sittingbourne, which I think is Tatum. Tatum is in that area. Oh, Rail Atlas is uh, coming out. Is that still the old one? Yeah. You've not found the new one yet? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. Uh, also, that's in the You need to go the other end. <laughs> Here you go, there. Yeah. That's, uh, no, that's, uh, that's Bridge End. That's South Wales. That's South Wales for you. Okay, Marvin. Here we go, here we go, here. Now we're looking for Faversham. Yeah. There's Faversham, so it is, it was Tatum. That's where, that's where it was there. And, uh, we bypassed that station, Tatum, and we're going to Citybourne. Citybourne? Yeah, Citybourne. We bypassed Newington to get to Raynham. Gillingham. Uh, we call it Gillingham, we call it Chatham, we call it Rochester. Uh, Strood. I believe we bypassed Higham. Uh, we also. No, I... no, no, that is right. That you go in the right direction because we um, we're fast through to Grey's End, and then it's uh, on to Ebbsley International, Ash and then London, uh, Stratford, and London Bankers International. Oh, we don't go to Ashford International. No, 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 we don't go to Ashford International. Ah. To get to Ashford International, you got to go down uh, this direction. Yeah, Maidstone Way. Yeah, that's where um, you mm. got to go. And unfortunately, Maidstone isn't included in South Eastern High Speed. As much as we'd really, really love it, unfortunately, it's just not. See, at the moment, this is what, uh, well, this is the plan similar to this, to HS2. Yeah. Because, yes, it's running London to Birmingham. Yeah. But then there was a call to come off to come onto the West Coast Main Line. Uh-huh. I think it was just north of Litchfield if I remember the plans. Oh yeah. So, some of the HS2 services going north would actually join up the West Coast Bay Line just 
north of Litchfield. Oh, so we get them through the Rouge and Tread Valley? Yeah. Oh, nice. Just like, you know, like HS1 where they come off and yeah. they go on to the regional routes? Yeah. That's what it's going to be like. That's interesting. But I don't know because I have heard that may be cancelled as well. Oh, well, if it is, then uh, yeah. they've done all that damage for absolutely zero reason. Here's sitting board. Uh, on your right, uh, that uh, little uh, sort of built white building there, you can see that's just gone past the uh, advertisement. That's the travel lodge. That is the travel lodge here at uh, Sittingbourne. And you also change here for the Sheerness branch. The Sheerness bar on C branch, yes. yes. Which Sheerness. I believe we. I'm not coming to this station now, which is a shame. Um. But, because uh, I did try to fit Sittingbourne in and uh, and Faversham with my plans, but it just wouldn't happen. So we had to... Uh, but Kent's just one of those that I just it, don't really go to. We need to, don't we? Yeah. We need to. We, we have to go into this area just to, you know... Do just, it. just to do it, yeah, exactly. I've got a load of track mileage to clear in I... Kent. <clears throat> I just uh, told him there's so much he misses all the time. You, if you have a look at a map that I've covered, yeah, and you will just see Kent not covered apart from Ashford International. Yeah, get in there, um, get in there, I'm get him. I stuck it on. Yeah, there was, there was absolute. That was an absolute. Um, Shambles. Absolute shambles of a race. It's a shambles! Absolutely. It's alright, I'm just doing what those tweeters do. And and then, then we were like, oh, hello, where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here. And get behind the yellow line. Also, come back here with your green hat. Don't ever interrupt me again. Um, no, that race was, was uh, absolute shambles. Yeah, Raynham is uh, next up. We raced last week, it was wet. It was wet and that was the conditions we raced for. Then a couple of people, then he wasn't happy with how the start went in the wet. So he changed it to dry with the possibility of rain. No rain turned up. So everyone's practiced for rain, the first race. It was kind of messed up kind of messed up and then when there we was get more in, players added in as well then there was more players added in and and then on and this is what i was so so i was warned about one driver and their aggressive driving i didn't realize they'd be that aggressive i went through the replay and i could not believe my eyes because i was all for going over to moose uh, to one of the drivers and apologise and say, look, that's on me, that's... I, I apologise for doing to you. I hit the throttle, it spun out and it spun into you. That, that was on me. Then I look at the replay and find out this aggressive driver that everyone warned me about hit me from behind just as I was... Turned the corner. Turned the corner. And then as I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the other guy, He's bloody really hit me so hard that we've bloody I've bloody really span right into him. But then the karma and, and was. Then, I mean, the karma was he took himself out, which he did the last time he did it. But then he's trying to turn around. Oh, I'm parking in the middle of the bloody corner. I was nowhere near the bloody middle of the corner, man. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to just drive into the back of the guy or something? Unbelievable! What a oh, we're we following something. We're following something. Are we? I think we're following something, yeah. But, no, seriously, that race got me really, really, really wound up. Because I did a no-stop. I took advantage of the rules there and no-stopped that race. Because originally it was supposed to be 35 laps. Well, then he changed his mind and we said, ah, oh, we're going 25 laps now. No stop, P7 to P4. Didn't even get a mention during the race. Didn't even get a mention. 
what, what have I got to do to get a, just a little bit of... Well, no, I heard it during the race. Yeah, but exactly, but that's it. Boy, it's like, oh, Rockstar Paul 6 Live was impressive coming from 7 to 4. He didn't even do that! I thought that was what you were on about. No! He didn't even do that. <clears throat> wait, wait till, because this race uh, goes out on the, the weekend, because uh, this race coming up is uh, GR1s at San Juan. That's the aggressive driver's favourite category. You wait, pal. You, I've got something for you. There's Newington. It does look like a nice station. It does. It looks like a very nice station. It's one that I would love to do, but unfortunately we've got to get down into that area to uh, do it. Yeah, we're being uh, getting ready for red signals after this yellow, I would say. Mm. But no, I, I seriously, I was, I was, I was annoyed. Ne next time he wants to drive me like a dick, I'm going to drive him like one. Because I, I am all for going out there. This is my first proper competitive league racing. Right, I'm all for going out there. Being kind, being respectful, being polite to other drivers. When you've got one that's intentionally driving like an absolute TWAT. Twit. Replace the I with the A. Yeah. Then, I'm sorry, he needs to, uh, he needs to be put in his place. And even um, even my teammate said, uh, you got to start going uh, aggressive driving, drive him off the road. Yeah, I'll go aggressive and drive him off the road. I'll make sure, because where we're going next week, there's barriers really close. I'll drive him off the road so he finds a barrier. Have, you, have yourself some engine damage over there. Would you like me to drive? I'll just run <laughs> into him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Rob, yeah, I can just see that. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I am. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, race. I've had, but I have found a suitable replacement. <laughs> First call of asteroids. <laughs> uh, and I'll be like, oh, I don't know what happened there. I, I really, I, I told him to be clean. I told him to be. It's, it's like, it's like he almost didn't even listen to a word he I fucking said. I, I tell you now, he didn't listen to a word I fucking said. Oh no. Siren trades. Standby driver. Standby driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Standby driver in his dreams. <laughs> no, I'm just standby wrecking driver. Yeah, standby wrecking driver. That's what say it's a race. This is more like Demolition <laughs> Derby. <laughs> uh... Now you wait till next week. They're, they're they're all expecting me to bring in the the Peugeot. Ah, they're expecting the Peugeot. Ian's bringing the Bugatti. Ian's bringing the Bugatti. <laughs> and you watch this. Everyone else has turned up with the Bugatti now, and there's ah oh, crud. Yeah. I, I I'll be there, and they're all there. I'm about ready to celebrate. Turn up with this lovely Bugatti, and they're all like. Ah, crap, they've done the same thing. Mind you, like, the setting you got is good at the moment. What's that? The car setting. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, what? what's that? My first four races are P5 and four, three P4s. I was in the podium for a while, and then that aggressive driver just decides to be an absolute donkey. We'll just start trash-talking like Jay's Hunt. That's... You know what that is? That's me breathing down your neck. Yeah, exactly. The good thing is, all he's gained on me is three points. Three points. That's all he's gained on me. And I think, if I'm right, the other driver, his teammate, didn't score any today, or he was behind Rob. So we, we're we still in P3 of the championship. But I, I tell you now, if, I if they turn around, right... Okay, first of all, First of all, I've got to point this out. Yeah, this... What is this? He's what? Got... What is... The, is this a member of the Max Verstappen army or something? <laughs> what have you come as? <laughs> Simon, you uh, you are the one with uh, cloven taste here. Explain this to me. It's nails. It's nails? Jesus Christ, he actually does look like him as well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think we better uh, run. <laughs> run, yeah. Before we get a night stick up uh, our... What, what is this right here? What is this? What is that? I, I don't even know what that was. 
Speaking of nights that sticks up your ass, does the uh, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders? <laughs> I heard you say that. I thought I'd get that one in the uh, pretty quickly uh, as well. So yet yeah, Raynham, uh, one of I think it's about eight stations, which has a platform zero. I think it's one of uh, eight stations. I've got to try and remember the other ones now. So don't 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 tell me. I'm going to get these right. So there is London King's Cross. Yeah. Obviously, it's Raynham. Yep. Uh, Doncaster. Yes. Red Hill. Yes. Uh, well, how many is that? That's four. Uh, what else has a platform zero? Come on, Ian. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. Everyone right now is probably screaming the answer at Ian's face or something like that. Oh, my God. You know there's one you go to tomorrow? I said Doncaster. The other one. There's one I'm going to tomorrow. Oh, oh Leeds! Has, of course, Leeds has a platform zero. Yes. Leeds has a platform zero. I completely forgot Leeds is a platform zero. That's I think the newest platform zero. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Paddington doesn't, Waterloo doesn't, Victoria doesn't, Euston doesn't, Liverpool Street doesn't, uh, no, St Pancras doesn't, because that has A's and B's, there's no freight train there for you uh, all to enjoy. And there's one you're about to pass through tomorrow to get to. Victoria doesn't have a platform zero, nor does Piccadilly. No, but you're passing through to get to. That Manchester tomorrow. I'm passing through there to get. Well, I'll be on the cross country, so. And the cross country calls at. Stoke on Trent. Nope. Macclesfield. Nope. Oh, Stockport! Yeah. Stockport has a platform zero. Of course it does. Uh, so that's six. There's two more. Why do I think Oxford Road has a platform zero? No, it doesn't. Liverpool doesn't have a platform zero. It's a, it's big stations. It's got to be big stations. Does Preston have a zero? No. Lancaster doesn't. Carlisle doesn't. No. Edinburgh doesn't. But the other one does. Oh, Edinburgh Haymarket has a platform there you zero. Go. Yes. So then there's one more. And I've got a feeling it's on the East Coast Main Line. I have to look this up. I have to look, look it up as well. I'm sure there's eight. Why do I think it's now sitting born? Yeah, because I'm sure there's another one in Kent, but I'm not too sure. I'm sh Ah, this is... This is good. This see, This... This is what gets the old grey cells uh, going. So, I've said most of them, haven't I? Red Hill... Reading doesn't have a zero, does it? Well, Wikipedia has a platform zero. Oh, does it? Okay. Don't tell me how many there are. Well, no, tell me how many there are, just don't tell One, me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's nine. So I've still got two more to go. Yes. You've Ooh. got Stockport, you've got Red Hill, you've got Raydham, you've got Kings Cross, you've got Leeds. And Doncaster. Doncaster, Edinburgh. Where's this station? Uh, this is uh, Gillingham. Oh, wait a minute, does Grave Gravesend have a zero? Yes. Oh, I've just had thought of that. So then I've just got to realise what number nine is. And this is where Simon plays the countdown music. Oh. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, yes. I'll give you a clue. Go on then. It's not in England. Is it Wales? Yes. Oh god, it's Cardiff, isn't it? Cardiff yes. Central. Ah! There's what we were waiting for over there, look. That's 66. That's 66. 66066. So, Cardiff, Doncaster, Haymarket, Grey's End, Leeds, King's Cross, Raynham. Hello. Hello there, sir. How are you? Oh, hello. Female drop. Hey! Female crew! Oh, yes. We, we welcome the fact that uh, Dovetail recognises a female crew 
Um, that is true. Yes. They are female freight drivers. There are female freight drivers, as at least uh, I know two. Because there's a, there's be, there's one who works down south in Southampton. Four. Oh, you know four. See, this is how much more connected he is in the railways than I am. Not that connected, as such, but. Because I know one that work that uh, works down Southampton. Yes. More of a shunt, though, but more of a shunt, yeah. But she still works with the freight uh, down Southampton. I think one works at Crew. Yes. As well. And then after that, I draw a blank. There's one that's just recently. <sighs> Working for DB, right? And there's one that, that works, I think, for Freightline. It's, but she's Scottish. Oh, she's Scottish, is she? Yeah. More needs to be done, I think, to get more female yeah. drivers. On... Like I said, doesn't matter if you race, gender, sexuality. You're always welcome in the hobby. Exactly. You are always welcome. And it's like with the railways, you're always welcome into the railways. Exactly. Unlike someone earlier on Twitter who turned around, Arr! Terrorists! Terrorists, oh. I tell you! Yeah, Paddy Aslef mm. are terrorists. <laughs> I mean, if you, if, you, if you think about in a weird sort of alternate dichotomy, they're not wrong. In a way, it is true, but... In a way, it but, is true, yeah. but it, it's just the way he went about it. it. It was just absolutely horse manure, shall we say. You've gone to Ruben's uh, Twitter account, which, uh, oh, here it is. As left our terror, oh my God, the grammar in this. Je Jesus Christ. I think I need a new brain after reading this. As left our terrorist holding UK people hostage. Number 10 needs to jail them or sack them all. They are greed, greed, greed and lazy. The UK people are feed up with this now. Get back to work. Um, oh my, I, I tell you what. I thought, I thought Sheldon had bad grammar. That makes Sheldon look like a, a Pulitzer Award winner. Let me, Jesus Christ. The problem is though, if you're going to jail them or sack them, then you're not going to have any drivers, are you? So you kind of fucked yourself over. Exactly, yes, jail all the train drivers, that'll help. Glad you're on... That, that your... will help with the face palm. Yeah. Glad you're on board, clown. Where did I say train drivers? Muppet read again. To be fair, he didn't actually say that. But Asnef are the train drivers. Exactly, yeah. What else are we... Come on, this is good. Um, uh... This is... <laughs> Chris the driver, think first. Your accountant's stupidity is avoidable. Your account has gone zero days without treat tweeting something stupid. I need that for. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Someone's done the gif of um of an old someone patting someone on the head. That that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Love a bit of caps lock action on a Saturday morning. Remember, I am greed. <laughs> the uh, gift I love. <laughs> By the which station? Uh, this would be uh, Chatham, sir. Ah, Chatham. Chatham Station. And we've overshot. Mistakes made. I would love to go to Chatham. You, well, I am going to Chatham again. Which is, a uh, you okay, hun? Can we crowdfund a new keyboard for you? Your current one <laughs> appears to be broken. <laughs> uh, uh, this might be the worst tweet I've ever read. Is this guy okay? Someone needs to check on him. <laughs> Hold a second. <laughs> you are he. Oh, I've got to read this one. Trust me, it's complicated at the top of the curve. It's starting to make sense. I'm never going to understand this. There's more to this than I thought. I know everything. You are here on the confidence scale. And at the bottom of the confidence scale, huh? <laughs> or why don't, doesn't the government stop all financial support to private rail companies? It will soon be resolved as it has in Wales and Scotland. Dude, you seriously need to get left. <laughs> I, love, I love reading some of these comments. Oh, here comes Jake. Tell me you have no idea about train railways without telling me you have no idea about railways. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, how are they terrorists and holding people hostage? Yeah. Uh, you are mad, totally and utterly mad. Well, there's terror guy. If they are all sack, as you say, who drives the trains then? And then someone giggles, yeah. Oh, Marcus G, yeah. Marcus G. 
lady on the trains, terrorists. I need a laugh today. Yeah, to trust me, I need a laugh. State. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sitting the other one. I'm sitting the one under this. And Simon can't help himself but continue <laughs> giggling here. State of this government. <laughs> Government rinsing millions on dodgy contracts with their mates. Corruption everywhere. You look and you're getting emotional about a fucking train driver. <laughs> and underneath the gift, the meme. Look, son, a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the thing, because show additional replies, including those, those that which make have... offensive content. Yeah, if there is any offensive <laughs> content... Uh, it better be offensive. It better be, because... Sometimes you click on them... And there's nothing there, it's just someone saying... Oh, this is... Uh, Rochester. Uh, Rochester, yes. Which I will the be going platform. to. This is the old uh, Rochester, which I have filmed on. The show. Uh, carry on being this stupid, you'll be out... You'll be a cabinet minister before the year is out. That's a, a totally clueless idiot. Oh, you need a sound on that one. Well, we're not going to put the sound. We're not going to put the sound on that one. Ah, oh, where's the offensive <laughs> stuff? I know, but yeah, that was the old platform you said was Rochester uh, station. This is Rochester's new station, and next month, I will be happy to confirm I am coming to Rochester, which will then make me, I believe, the only enthusiast to film on the. The uh, old and new Rochester. I can't remember all the everyone who does Rochester <laughs> nowadays seems to be the new guard. The old guard have filmed at Rochester, <coughs> but they've not come to the new Rochester. I will be the only one that's done old and new. And this is where I then go on the thingy and find someone else has filmed on old and new Rochester. And if that is the case, I apologise, because I've always been led to believe that uh, that will be the case. There we go, we'll stop it nicely at this. No, uh, you'd be saying mistakes were made. I'd be saying mistakes were made, definitely. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, plus, I'll be doing Rochester... Which way? I'll be doing Rochester down towards uh, Raynham. Mm. I think Raynham will actually... I think I'm actually doing them all <coughs> in order as well. So, I would be doing... Um where my starting station is down to Raynham and then I believe you've not booked it yet but uh, I pick up a javelin all the way back to St Pancras International I believe that was uh, I think that's how it goes I think that's how it goes yeah because what I'm doing here I'm sort of preempting a lot of people because I've got, I seem to have got it into my head now that the RMT and ASLEF, they strike more on Thursdays and Saturdays. They sort of leave the other days alone. You get the odd Wednesday, the odd Friday. But I can never ever remember them striking on a Monday. They haven't. And you would have thought, start of the working week, they'd absolutely go for that. Yeah. I think the only things that were affected for Mondays was overtime bands. Overtime bands, yeah. But, um, right, we'll go to uh, Stavud next. Who does the overtime bands? Is it the IMT and Asleft that do that? I believe they both do um, overtime bands. So basically when they say they're striking, then they're overtime banning people as well. I, I'd love to know how an overtime ban actually works. You know, because you, <laughs> you hear them say, oh, we're striking. We're going to do an overtime. We're going to put an overtime ban because on this. That, what and the happens other. is during the strikes, they don't get paid. Yeah. So I think they put the overtime ban on so they don't get the money back. Okay. That now now you've got me. Uh, now you've got me complicated. You got me confused here. Well, basically, let's just say if I fell ill next week and as. I can't go to work, right? So yes. I'll be a day without pay. Okay, yes. But then I could use another day to get that pay back. That's true, yes. So I'm guessing the overtime ban in place because... Well, I don't know how this I, works. I don't know how it works either. But I reckon it's there so people can't get overtime so they can get that money back that they lost during the strike. So, in essence, what they're... What the... I don't... I... Don't know how it works. I don't. I don't know. But for for the wording that you're putting across, and we are happy to be corrected on this because we are. I'm probably ninety nine percent wrong here. Yeah, you probably you probably are. It's not for the first time. Mistakes will be made. For what you're 
saying there is then that for those that want to go back to work after they've had um, after they've been on strike, the union turned around and said there'll be now be an overtime ban. See, see, my the, word. The other the, thing is, I think it's more disruption. So it's not just the strike. You got more disruption during during that period. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could honestly say, when, when I've been... Because I've done a few trips with overtime bands in place, I can honestly say I've never, ever been really disrupted too much. I think the only one that got disrupted too much is Chilton. Chilton. Chilton get uh, absolutely whacked hard. I, I um, can say that for a fact. Like me. last Christmas when um, the maintenance teams couldn't really... Well, what I'm thinking of it, you know tomorrow's new plan that I've got in place now? Yeah. I need to see how many um, tickets I've got. Because I'm fairly sure... I this might... is Strood, is it? This is Strood, yes. This is uh, this is Strood right here. Um, oh. Who's that uh, over there? Not the... Uh, you are not the uh, Jablet... <coughs> oh, excuse me! Because, <coughs> like last Christmas when the overtime time <coughs> came in, Chilton were hammering it because they couldn't run anything north of Banbury. Yeah. Because of the maintenance... For the unit and when that overtime ban started they only had like 23 trains in operation that's just silly i mean so, i mean, I so mean people could have maintained them i found the uh the, <clears throat> the thumbnail right here and um even the people are saying how bad of a service you put on it strip them for their franchise but it wasn't their fault it's not their fault no but at the end of the day, who who else are you going to blame? Unfortunately, there's, there's your thumbnail right there. Get those. they were put in that position. Yeah, they were they were put in that position, but um, and unfortunately, that's the best that they had to do. And it's like the last overtime bad during the sp spring bank holiday. Look at this well, guy Easter. coming towards us. Is it Easter or the May bank holiday? Uh, come on, I think it was uh... yeah, no, the May bank holiday. Yeah, I think it was the May bank holiday. All they were doing then was running an hourly service to Birmingham, an hourly service to Oxford. Yeah. Was it hourly service to Ellsbury? Uh, something like that, yeah. And that was it. Yeah, that, they, they really got um, bit bit hard, didn't they? But then, you put that overtime ban in place, then unfortunately that's what you're going to get. Unfortunately, uh, you, would be, uh, you would be right as well. Don't know what this guy's waiting for here, but... Uh... So in other words, the IOT may have strike one day, which is fair enough, but then they've added more damage to it mm. than people realise. But the train operating companies get the blame because they yeah. had to force themselves, they were forced themselves to do it, and then because of the ban. Exactly. Here's, here's, my, um, here's my opinion on the, uh, on the strikes, right? Because... RMT turn around and say, oh, blame the government. Government turn around and say, oh, blame the RMT. Blame Aslef. How about I come up with the uh, opinion from a passenger side of things. You're all to blame. R RMT can turn around and the Aslef can turn around and say, oh, yes, but this, that and the other, the government, blah, blah, blah. They can turn around and blame the government for the strikes all they like. But who called the strikes at the end of the day? Who called the strikes at the yeah. end of the day? Them. So they could not sit there and say, oh yeah, we want this, we want that. <laughs> oh, we're just... Uh, mistakes uh, made here. I don't know what's uh, going on here. There we go. Mistakes were definitely made. Yeah, mistakes definitely made. They, they can turn around and say, yes, but we were forced into this, blah, 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 blah. Right. But at the end of the day, right, everybody is to blame. Everybody, it doesn't matter how big, how small, everybody is to blame for this mess. Let, let's let's just go say it like it is. It's a mess. The truth is, it is. It's a mess. RMT want to keep people on the railways. Fantastic. Go go right ahead, keep yeah. people on the railways. But don't then turn around and then start bad mouthing. Put, put, I put this to you, right? 
I put, so are you a member of a union? No. Okay, right, okay, let's just, let's just go, we'll just go Our back. union kind of fucked ourselves over. Yeah, all right, okay, fair enough. I put this to you then as a worker, as a, an essential key worker at your retail outlet of choice. Yeah. If you turned around, right, and you said to your employer, I'm not happy with the conditions, okay, I'd like which to... Which is every day. Which is every day, yeah. And I would like to negotiate X, Y, and Z. Yeah. What would happen? Honestly? Honestly, yes. Yes, rubbed under the carpet. Exactly, it would get rubbed under the carpet. Would you then do what the RMT and ASLEF do? Would you then take to social media and slag off the people you're trying to negotiate with? This is me you're talking about. No, no, but would but you? No. Would you seriously? No. no. You make it worse. You make it worse. And then what does the what does the government turn around to do? The government turn around and slag off the unions. See? And then the unions turn around, they'll slag off the government even more. Meanwhile, here's John John and Jane Doe stuck in the middle. They're looking at both of these big organizers. Well, one big one union and one Come one union, uh, two unions, two unions in a way. If you think about it, what would you call the government a union? Well, no, that's left and the RTA unions. The government's just the government. The government. They look at these two unions that are put in to represent their workers, and they look at this government, mm. and they would be like. You are just the biggest bunch of children in the world. Get in a room and sort it out. That's a uh, Hyam right there. Yeah. I think it's how you pronounce it. Hyam? Hylam. High ham. Something like that, yeah. High ham. The thing is, though, they just need to go into a room and just talk it out. Exactly. And, and the RN. And then, after that talk out, get a proposal sorted. No dirty dodging extras in it yeah because let, let, let's be honest right yes the are the rail delivery group have been guilty of putting in little things after negotiations which is wrong yes if you put let me put it to you like this if i turn around to simon here and said right we're gonna do trains in world this week and uh, while i'm doing we're doing trains in world i'm gonna give you two cheerleaders and two cans of drink right yeah simon would be like okay i yeah. am happy with that no problem i then come into the recording and say oh sorry we've taken the two girls away fuck you yeah exactly exactly yeah that would be that would be the yeah. appropriate response but what the what the rmt and aslef are then guilty of themselves is they're looking at the deal and they're rejecting it before it even goes to their members Surely, right, and then they turn around, oh, but we think it's not good enough for our members. We think this, we think that, right? Surely, surely, See, he, he, could, wants to, he wants to say something, go on. You could think they could be doing that dodgy so they get the extra six months so they can carry on. Exactly, that is how it, it looks like. I mean, it's like what I said to that, said to them on the thing. Yes, okay, you had, Covid happened in 2020 and 2021, but surely if you were going to go for maximum maximum impact on the government, Covid would be the perfect excuse because you could withdraw all your labour and then say right now tell your key workers to get to work. Then what would happen? I guarantee you the government would have give you exactly what you want then. Yeah, I guarantee you. And more. And more, exactly. But you waited four years, and it is wrong that anybody, doesn't matter whether you're a key worker like this man, or a key worker like um, someone else, or a member of the R RMT, or a member of ASLEF, or anybody, it is wrong that you go four years without any mean of incentive to your job. Whether that be a pay rise or whether that be something else, it is absolutely wrong. Because I think with yourself being a key worker, you get 
a form of a pay rise each year, don't you? Sometimes it, two. Sometimes, what, well, after every two years? This year it's two because... Oh, oh you get two pay rises. Sometimes it's one pay rise, sometimes it's two. Two, I yeah. I think it's every two years. Oh, 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 oh so, 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 so it's either so, you get a pay rise every year or a pay rise every two years. Yeah, this oh, right. April was up to £11. Yes. And then next month it actually goes to £11.11. £11. Oh, so you've got two pay rises this this year? Yeah. Ah, right, okay. So but then next year it may just only be the one. It may only be the one, exactly. But, excuse me. But, for you to then wait four years, and like I said, you've had ample opportunity to say, I mean, you could have done this before last year, and it, I guarantee it probably would have got sorted out a lot quicker. But for the RMT and for ASLEF, not if they were so confident, right, that their members would turn around and reject the offers put in place by the Art Rail Delivery Group and the government, right? Yeah. Why did they put it to the members? Surely, if you're that confident, put it to the members. Or is it a case of they uh, were worried what their members would actually do? Because a lot, a few of their mem quite a few of their members have now turned around and said, we can't keep afford to strike it. We have to work. Would they be afraid of a, some of their workers turning around, looking at this deal and saying, you know what, accept it. And then it coming out in a majority that they but accepted it. this is the it. thing. This is the same, is this the same deal that the Signalman's got? I believe it is a, a slightly improved deal on what the network rail deal was, but not a complete, I wouldn't say a, a properly improved deal, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It is an improvement, but it's also not an improvement, if, if you get what I'm saying. But like I said, my, my question is that if they were so confident, <clears throat> Mm. Why didn't they turn around and why didn't they say, here's the deal, uh, members, vote on it. I guarantee you, the second any deal goes in front of their members, the members are accepting it. And then the RMT of, of, will look at the deal and be like, wow, we've negotiated that for absolutely nothing. Mm. I think there is a hidden... Somebody here, somebody here, it's either the government, the rail delivery group, or it's one of the u two unions, have got a alter hidden agenda here somewhere. Yeah. That there's a hidden agenda here. Well, we know the government's agenda was tr to modernise the railways. Yes. And let, let's be honest, the UK railway system does need modernisation. It does need. But it's not going to happen like that. Mm. It's just not going to happen like that what what could happen I mean it could happen in a segregated way like they're trying to say say look this will happen here this will happen here but here this is going to happen right yeah see if I was the RMT and the rail and ASLEF I'd be smart here right I'd look at that deal and I would say okay right so we get a pay rise this year we get a pay rise then next year yeah. But it looks like in 2025, we may have an issue. Or 2026, whatever that will be. Well, that is the issue, because 2025, there's a plan to keep people on till then, and then start the redundancies. Yeah. What I would then say is, OK, is there a way we can negotiate this? And, and if the government turn around and say see i know what they're trying to do here the rmt and aslef they're trying to get labor in power because then labor would bend over backwards to give them literally anything they want because what they don't tell you is labor are actually funding the pair of them but don't tell anyone okay what i would then love to happen is right if labor do gain power yeah they sit down with the rmt they sit down with aslef okay we're, we're in power now Oh, fantastic. So uh, we're all good to go. No, you're getting nothing now. They screw them over. They screw them over. See, Because all these people that say, oh, get the Tories out, get the Tories out, right? 
they will see what the Labour people have done and then all the people, right, that they've accused of being Tory S lickers and whatnot, all the people that they screwed over, they could just come over and say, how's that Labour government working out for you then? But that's what I think the Tories are doing, they're just doing as much maximum damage as they can now because they know they're going to not get the seat next year. Yeah. But then... And then they blame it on Labour, but it's not their fault. Exactly. Exactly. And then who loses out in the end? Everyone. Everyone. Everyone loses out. The Tories lose out, RMT lose out, Rail Delivery Group loses out, people lose out. And we're all in the, in the utter shit, you know what, without a paddle. That that is the uh, that is the be all and that is the end all. That that is the way that uh, I unfortunately see this going. Right, Ebsley International. We have been talking about this subject for fifty goddamn minutes. Um, that is a dinner call. Uh, five minutes. That's early. That is early. I swear she yelled out. 1659. Do you, do you think so? It was 1659 there when I heard a yell. I didn't hear a yell. It was Bay Fay, but I definitely heard it. I, I heard a laughter. That's what I heard. I thought I heard a laughter. See, this is the 50 minute mark. My video's gone out two minutes ago. Yeah. Your, your video will have uh, gone out literally. Uh... See, let's, let's just get to the end of this, then we can have dinner and then we'll be uh we'll be good to go yeah i'll watch the white wicks while you're having uh, your dinner yeah and while we're saving this as well because we yeah. can come back to visit what to oh, oh yeah mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> no that was a mistake that was a monster mistake that was a monster uh, problem there for a dovetail if you wouldn't mind um sorting that out for us that would be uh, absolutely great and absolutely epic uh Yes, we are aware, and unfortunately, it's way too early, and you, you know we're we're in the middle of something now. We can't stop for another minute. For another minute, exactly. Right, uh, put press and hold the control button. Okay. Yep, that's all good. Uh, press the pan up, shoes down button. Sounds like the pantograph didn't connect with the overhead wires. Try and raise it again. Oh. Oh. Now you got a problem. Yeah, we'd have a problem now, don't we? Um. Try it again. Nope. Press and hold the pan up. Yeah, let's have a look. How'd that work out for us? Looks like the pantograph is blocked. Unload the passengers and take the empty stock to Rochester lay-by until it can be looked at. In other words, we ain't going to London. We're Damn. going back to Rochester. Oh, isn't that just a delightful mess? Uh, so yeah, it looks like we've got to go back to Rochester, unfortunately. Shame. Shame! <laughs> I was looking forward to a nice high-speed run on the uh, HS1, but uh, it looks like it is not going to happen again. So people are going to have to wait for the next train, are they? Uh, they are, yes. Or get one from the uh, lower levels. Right, should we go... Yeah, let's go through the javelin. Mate, you you got to get off. you got to get off. you got to get off, sorry. And you. We're being terminated. We're being terminated here at... Uh... Hey, let's just do that. Yeah. We're being terminated here. you got to wait for the There's next one. There's still people on board. There are still people on board. Well, you go to... Rochester you, you depot, come with then. us to Rochester. Well, this, I don't think it's really a depot. We didn't really pass a depot. More a stable siding. Yeah, more of a stable in there. Uh, Just basically get the unit out the way. Get the unit out the way and... Because uh, <coughs> Lord knows mm. why the um, the pantograph didn't go up. Uh, day running, we want DC. We want uh, pan up shoes down. Unload the passengers. We did. We did, yeah. We unloaded them. Unlock the doors. We unloaded them. You told us to unload them. 
Maybe it's those people that were, um... Yeah, maybe, it, there we go. There we go, get off, get out. Get off, get out, and uh, we're going back the uh, other direction. Yeah, but you be told to get off, you don't have to walk away. I know. They also want to get um, behind the other line. Behind the other line, yeah, because there's a javelin about to, to mm. disappear. Sure. Hey, hey, what, what, what is going on? What is that? I'm sure this station's staffed, is it? Uh, Epsilon International is staffed on uh, three levels, yes. So you have the, we have it staffed on the high level here that we are. You also have it staffed twice on the low level. Once for high speed services and also for Eurostar services. Which do stop there very sporadically. Yeah. I would um I would <clears> say. <throat> but that that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So right, let's get uh, let's get going to uh, Rochester then. Rochester lay by we've got to go to in nine miles. Well what a disappointing end to the trip. I was here looking forward to going to London St Pancras. London St Pancras. And here we are. Now we're having to go back the other way, which is uh, rather unfortunate. Yeah, I put um, I put that complaint uh, that um, investigation in, and uh, I got I got a message about. Are you sure you want to? Or are you sure you want to send it there? I said, yeah. Like, he's not getting away with it. That this is twice now it's happened to me. I'm not because if it happens a third time, I'll tell you exactly what'll happen. You gotta ram him. He's off into the shadow realm. <clears throat> You'd be ramming him with your car. I I will drive this guy dirty, and uh, I will love doing it. He might be German. He might think he's Michael Schumacher, but I will drive him like I'm David Coulthard. And that is a straight fact. I will drive this guy insane. Oh, hello. Simon's having a fight with the cat. How's your fight going there, sir? How's your fight going? I don't think she's giving her... No, she don't care. That's a big yawn for a little moggy Yoshi. Uh-oh. It's not. I think she... Uh, I think she's... Yeah, get, it's a case of get out of here. <laughs> Get out of it! Yeah. <laughs> oh dear me! But, but this this episode has had it all, really, hasn't it? You, what's that? Oh, just some. Um, oh, some of the some of some of the yeah. That's sub tablets. Cool. Sub tablets. The uh, tablets when you get acid reflux, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So <sighs> yeah, I've got my plan for tomorrow now. I'm happy with that. What are you looking at? Something's got her attention, hasn't it? Hmm. What's got your attention, Yoshi? Uh oh, something's really got her attention. Something has got the cat's attention. Not even I know what uh, got your attention. <laughs> she was about to give you one behind the ears. There's nothing there. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Why do cats <laughs> stare at nothing? Because cats. That didn't work. That didn't work either. That didn't work either again. Yeah. The only time it works is when you get your hand like that and then she tries to bite it off. Exactly. Or grab so it. now, when we stopped at Gravesend before, now we've got to roll through Gravesend. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Because, like I said, we were, we were here ten seconds ago, and now now we're we're trundling back to Rochester. But the good news is, once we get to, once we get through here, I think we've only got to go through Hyams and Stude, and then we're at Rochester. Yeah, it's not too bad much. It's not uh, too much. It's not uh, too <clears throat> bad either. I half expect later on to um, have a message saying that somehow that crash was all my fault. I have still got uh, a copy of that, those crashes. I might. Do you know what I might do? So, yeah, I, I might stick them in now. I might stick them in now so that they can be the judge.
That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? You you don't have a lot to say, do you? No. <laughs> no, no. No, but uh, hey, it's your thing. If you want to put them in, show them. Yeah. Trains in World Three is our baby. Our baby. Let let's not. Uh, this may the channel a. Uh, the name on the channel may say Ian Paul, but on Saturdays and Sundays it says Simon and Ian Paul. Actually, it says Rockstar Paul 69. It does say Rockstar Paul 69. Very nice. Very nice. But uh, it also says there Simon Trains and Sheldon and Cyber Trades. In fact, do you want do you want to do it um, yourself? Give all your names out uh, to everyone. Go on, give all your channel names out to uh, everyone. That everyone calls you. What Cyber Trade, Sheldon, Sherlock Trains. Yeah. Um There's Cyber Trade. Cyber Trade. Uh, there's The Leader of the 37 Dice Cowboy cheer Cheerleaders. <laughs> you had to get that one in, didn't you? Yep. Um There's a lot. There, there is a lot. That's where I come along and say, hey, you got enough uh, channel names? <laughs> <laughs> or aliases. You got enough aliases? And that's where you probably turn. Relax. Yeah. He's nearly done. He's nearly done. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just a long day getting all these in. It is, but the problem is yeah. we had to, haven't we? And then I've got to record the next ones. And what's it? Let me see. What is next on the list to record? Tees Valley and Schnellfastecker Cologne. Ooh, Tees Valley. Uh, I don't know why. I'm thinking of uh, putting Oakville subdivision in Schnellfast Strecker Cologne's place, so that we could do Schnellfast Strecker Cologne and LGV Mediterranean. That's what I'm thinking. I see. Yeah, I see where we are. <clears throat> you you see where we are? Tees Valley there. Yeah, yeah, that's there. So. The Oakville subdivisions on its last one soon. Yes, anything with a red, there's a, a few more that have got to have a red, um, a red star next to them. I think uh, London Commuter is one. Uh, Cane Creek, I think, is another one. Mm. And West Cornwall Local. Give me, give me the red, um, the red marker. West Cornwall Local's definitely one. I'm sure Hamburg Lubeck uh, is approaching its uh, last one as well. West Cornwall local, I, I know we've uh, we've got to replace. Yeah, no, these are the ones that. Well, West Cornwall locals last for now, but we do have the DLC pack with the uh, with the steam train. How many steam trains we get? We've got them now. I haven't a clue. Uh -huh. How many Surely that's uh, one you can find out online. Yeah, it's a 9.99 one. Oh, hello. It's happened again. What is this? What is this wizardry? I know. We just are we going past who here? Who? No, I'm asking you. Are we going past who? Who? I, I asked. I, I, I asked you here if we're going past who? Who? What? What? Okay. I just asked you. If we went past who? Who we went past? We went past who? Oh, who, who yard? Yes! <laughs> Were you having me on then? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm taking away your cheerleaders right now. That's it. <laughs> oh, strike. Strike! <laughs> no. Uh, I go on strike. I want better pay. Better working conditions. What else do you want? I am brew. <laughs> so you you are striking for better pay, better working conditions, and I am brew. And uh, how much pay would you like, sir? An eight pack of cans. <laughs> and uh, what working conditions would you like? No, they're all right, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just want eight cans of iron brew? Yeah. See, I think I think we can call that uh, a deal. A deal. I think we can. Uh, that's where uh, Ian handshake Sheldon. Aha. Yeah. Mm. Um. 
See, that's how you negotiate. You, he says, uh, we, I'm take, I say I'm taking away one thing. He says strike, you say what would you like. He says he what he likes. And then uh, we're all go, good to go from there. Right, uh, West Cornwall local, what we got? Five scenarios. Oh, he's got five scenarios. Five steam scenarios. Do they say what five? Um, I think that actually did say Scotland uh, there, so I think you've got the wrong one. No, it, it is right. DLC. Oh, West Cornwall local steam rail tour. Okay then. Yeah. That's fine. Then. Using a preserved LMS Jubilee class. Oh, it's just a Jubilee. Yeah. Ah. In addition, the add-on also includes a bonus <clears throat> for another. Hey. Oi! You didn't tell us that. What's that? Scott Rail Express Edinburgh to Glasgow gets a free new rail tours. Black Jubilees. As well as two diesel services using the 37-5. You didn't tell me that. I did not know that. I did not know that. Hey, Dad, all of a sudden that becomes a worthy nine... If they're scenarios as well. Yeah. If, if they are scenarios... Uh, give. Updating with the modern equipment, such as AWS devices. Yeah. Battery-powered taillights. Battery-powered taillights, nice. What are the... Have we got the names of the scenarios here? Or a release date, Tenlink, uh, uh, no, we don't have the name of scenarios, do we? No. No. But you could find out, couldn't you? You could find out what the name of scenarios are. See if it's worth doing. This is where they turn around, because I know the last West Cornwall local scenario we got to do is with 37-5, and it's 140 minutes. Sure they do say it here. Surely they do. Uh, about this content, yeah. Because they do list them here. Yep, yeah, they do list them uh, there. Five scenarios and four additional timetables. No, they don't. They don't. Well, that is, that is rather unfortunate. That is rather unfortunate as we're uh, coming into Stuid. Hmm. I would like uh, to know what the scenarios are called. Uh, I would. What about that one? Trains in World Wiki. Oh, here we go. Um, see what they say. See what they say. They usually. Uh, mind you, it is Rivet, isn't it? Mm. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Right, we're not far from Rochester. And then we can put this uh, awful day of. Literally getting everything ready behind me, because uh, then I've got to go to the bath. Then I've got to go to... Um, Why does it no one say the scenario? I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to tell you what the scenarios are called. Maybe that's the thing. They just don't want to tell you what the scenarios are called. Maybe that that's a... A thing... He's having a, a butcher's ear. Fit as a butcher's dog. Yeah. Uh, this one is a uh, rail advent. Surely uh, rail advent will tell you. That you, you were just there. What was that? Don't know. Not me. Mainline sections and Ives branch. Locomotives. Scenarios. Oh no, that's for the, uh, that's the, the thing. actual that's one. That's the actual thing itself. Ah, oh, it's fine. We can find out when we get, eventually get it, can't we? Yeah. We can find out when we eventually get it. So, yeah, I think next week, because now that F123 is uh, on the get thingy, I think, actually, um, with F123, next, um, <sighs> next time... Because today we should be doing, um, we should have done the GRB race uh, around uh, Willow Springs today. No one is looking forward to that. No one. No one. Rally car around Rally Circuit, everyone's got a chance. Rally car around Rally Cross Circuit, everyone's got a chance. Rally car around Permanent Circuit, no. No one's got a chance. No one's got a chance. This is a... Uh, 
a disaster waiting to happen. However, one thing you can be assured of is that every race that I participate in for the Super Championship in the month of June, I will be recognising uh, Pride Month by having a Pride uh, yeah. motif on there. I mean, the uh, the race I did last, we did um, a couple of weeks ago with the, the uh, F1 cars around the Red Bull Ring. I had uh, the Pride livery all over the front wing. No one pulled me up on it. No. The uh, the GRB race that we've got, sorry, the um, the GR1 race last week, Pride livery around the sides. I don't know where I'm going to put the Pride livery on the rally car. And then I think for the last one next week, I'm going to have a word with Rob and um, see if uh, we can't race a, a special livery, a Pride livery. Because it'll be GR4s around Deep, Deep Forest Raceway. Mm. GR4s around Switzerland. With the pride livery. If this was um, anything else, that'd be good. Because then uh, I think after that is Brands Hatch. <laughs> yeah. Sag on. Now we talk. <clears throat> they use the old Ro Rochester now, Rochester now as a as a stable inside. Yeah. Mm. It's it's gonna be very interesting when I go through here. Because the, the old, like I said, the old Rochester is still there. The new Rochester is just around the corner. I mean, they had to do it. Because, um, oh God, mighty, more signals close to each other. I've got 40... T wow, they're only going to give me te five yards grace. Because the old station wasn't capable for... I think the old station was um, compatible at all. I don't think it was um, compatible at all. They had to uh, do something. Right, here we are. We can pull up and call it a day. There we go. Just leave it here for the moment. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Do we get a gold? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, yeah, next week... Um, well, Tees Valley, definitely. Yep. Um, I mean, I suppose we could um, do the Cologne route and then have Oakville subdivision and uh, LGV Mediterranean with it being their last uh, appearance on the channel together. Yeah. I suppose we could um, do that. That's uh, no problem there. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, playlists will be coming up now. Go check out Sheldon's channel. Check out the other players for more Rockstar Pool 69 content. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. And, uh, yeah, I think the last... Uh, I'll leave the last five seconds to Sheldon to uh, wrap up. Well, I still need to go to Rochester. I've never been there. 